Hey, my name's Perpetual Pandemonium, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. In between episodes, I did some legwork, went, went and traveled back to the refugee camp and picked up two generators. One for this location here, and then one for our new location at the warehouse, a Amazon warehouse, as uh, I've heard it's referred to. So, we are here to find some cigarettes real briefly. Boom. And then, what we're going to be doing now is clearing away towards the forest to the northwest. So we're going to ignore that guy and we're going to keep on moving. Seriously? You're going to break that window too? Anyways, so let's get started on getting over there. So the reason I want to clear the forest is because I want to have easy access to mass amounts of wood. And then we're also going to have to... You know what? In fact, let's make a quick stop by the uh, survivor home as well because we need the wood axe kill this guy so let's go grab our truck go we'll grab the wood axe and let's make our way over there so the purpose of that is i basically want to finish encircling this place with fence here and then i think there may be another open location over there but then also in the in between episode thing uh my sheet rope got torn down as you can see the one that i had right there and i have no stairs so we're gonna have to go back and rebuild some stairs. Sanfa, this is a shout out to you for enjoying keeping the stairs in your home because I would not experience that problem if I had left the stairs intact. But regardless, we got our work cut out for us. And then the truck now, it has just, as you can see, I still have the um, generator on me, but the truck has a 99 carrying capacity for the bed. So that means we can put just a huge amount of planks in the bed. And in fact, we could probably make a bunch of, sh uh, not sheet ropes. Maybe the sheet ropes that you do uh, wood bundles with. But I'm not super worried about that because we got so much carrying capacity here. Let's jump in here. Go get that wood axe real quick. Not too much goofing around today. Now, where was it? Was it in here? The axe. We'll grab that as well. But that's not what exactly I'm looking for. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Holy shit. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I added multiple mods to the game. I got tired of uh, having a very narrow selection of firearms as well as uh, clothing. So now we have, I can't remember off the top of my head what the name, there it is, Wood Axe, what the name of the armor and weapon mods, Brita's armor and weapon, I believe. And then also the, um, the sliders there just to make it easier to see at a glance where everything stands and see more specifically where it stands. Not just some vague, you're hungry, you're depressed kind of thing. Actual metrics, right? That's what I want to see. So, there are a couple others that I can't remember off the top of my head. But as we come across them, I'll uh, mention them. Oh, we got the inventory, the weapon condition mod, so it shows me what the condition of my weapons is down here in the hotbar. All right, so let's... Well, you know what we're going to have to do, actually is find a place to sleep for the night real quick. Not tired. Am I even tired at all? Okay. Well, we will have to sleep. Oh, this isn't where I want to be. I turned a little bit too early, so let's jump over here. Go back to the warehouse real briefly. This is going to be the kind of route we have to clear. So I'm kind of pulling them to my... Oh, shit! Well... This is why I needed the new truck, in case y'all can't tell. Let's park here. Let's check out the damage. Did I just fuck this thing? Let's see, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Engine was already shit. It looks like most of the issue was the hood taking damage. Because this thing was already in not the greatest condition. Okay, so let's take these guys out. Real briefly. Boom. Boom. Light work. 
Oh yeah, the other mod. I uh, made it to where you can see the damage you do. Health bars and stuff like that. It's so far I like it. Let me know what y'all think about the mods I've added in. If you like them or not. I think they're a welcome addition. We should be able to get some more gunplay in with the gun mods. The satchel on you. It's got a pen, I don't care. Already making good progress here. No, 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 no. Golly, that almost connected just then. Okay. Now we got the guys who were chasing us down, taken care of. Let's go turn off the truck. Sleep inside for a quick second. Maybe take some antidepressants. Come on, let me in. Turn it off. There we go. I will see y'all in the morning. Here is the beginning of the end. We see that uh, while we sleep, the zombie breaks through boarded up windows and the glass without ev us even waking up. We're unable to react uh, with our voice just killing it immediately and bandaging up. So at first we notice that it's just a laceration and not a bite. So we're hoping maybe, you know, it's not uh, deadly, but it is. We've got maybe one or two more episodes left on this character. So let me know if there's any mods you think I should add in or a direction we should go for the next character. Thanks. Holy shit, you guys. Why did I not wake up? Oh my god, if this is the end of this character, you would think he would wake up. I had a board on the window, and he smashed through the window. Oh, son of a bitch. If this is the end, I'm going to be very mad. Oh, shit, man. Oh, this had better not be the end. Shit. Okay, man, that is that is rough information right there. That is rough to have happened. Critical damage of a laceration. Can I even perform a surgery on my neck? I don't know. I think that would just be dangerous. Okay, let's take this guy out real quick. Holy shit. Okay, well. You know what? We're going to do the safer maneuver, which would have been to pull the truck up against something and sleep in the truck. Let's, um... I can't, let's see over this in the next couple episodes whether or not we die. Man, that would suck. Pull up against the garbage can here. Okay, I think it's bright enough for us to go start the truck up and go. Come on, please. There we go. Oh, oh man, that sucks so bad. Dirty bandage. I don't want to take it off. That laceration. Oh, shoot. That laceration bleeds like crazy. Let's make our way slowly to the gas station and loot it for some more food. Man, that sucks. I'm not over that. Whew. I was panicking because I heard the window breaking and then I heard the, the plank breaking. And I was like, come on, wake up. And then he just didn't wake up. Shit, that sucks. Okay, is there anybody in here? Man, oh man. Okay. Let's eat real quick. Got to make sure to stay fed for sure. Okay, do we risk even trying to switch bandages? A sterilized bandage would be best. How's this margarine still good? Holy shit, let's eat that. Boom. Maximum calories. Should be gaining weight now. Okay. I'm like traumatized from that experience now. Come on now. Smoke. There we go. Alright. So. We are severely damaged. But we still have to go clear that out. We, we still have work to do. Right. Let's see. 
I have ripped sheets. Let's remove the bandage really fast. And then rip sheets back on there. It's a laceration, so I'm pretty sure I need to heal that with like uh, a suture needle. But I also don't know if it's going to make it worse if I try and do that with next to no first aid skill. So let's see. Do I have any first aid? Where is it? Right there. I have, don't even have level one. Okay. So yeah, let's just get here and start working, I guess. Should probably just rest up, but I want to get this thing started. I want to be able to push. Oh, shit. <laughs> Grab the new crowbar. This is why you always keep a backup on hand. That threw me off my mojo, man, for sure. Jesus. It's like I didn't even get a chance to react to it either. He just slept through it. Worthless. And I'm a li like a light sleeper. Okay. Let's do it. You know what? If I die, we got the base in West Point. We can take that. And we can come back out here. It'll be a fresh start, yeah. We'll have to do a lot more power leveling. But we've also learned a lot more about the game since then. So I think that's going to be good. Let's take these guys out. Get back, please. Boom, boom. There we go. No, no, no. Not a second one. Please and thank you. Anybody sneaking up behind me? Yes. And from that direction. Whew. My heart's still racing, though, from that. From the, uh, not from what just happened here, but from the, um, the near-death sleeping experience. I thought he would have woken up. You know? Thought he would have woken up. Oh, onwards and upwards. Oh, unpleasantly hot makes me feel kind of nervous, to be honest. Because it's 58 degrees in here. Ugh. Makes me nervous. Okay. Are we going to start running a fever soon? I guess only time will tell. If we start running that fever, I mean, we know it's we're done for. The laceration. That's a pretty good chance of getting, getting the illness, isn't it? No, no, no. Hey, new shotgun. From the mod. Hey, at the very least, we can check out some of the new weapons before we go out. If we are indeed sick... I figure we just get to work. No, 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 no. I don't want to, like, guarantee that I'm sick. There we go. I, was gonna say, I thought I heard you coming around somewhere. Hey! I still hear this one coming over here. And what we're doing here, essentially, is just... Reaching 10 BBL. What the hell? It's a shotgun. Okay. No. Okay, I hate this fence. It's fucking me up. We are exhausted now. And see the damage drop precipitously when you get very exhausted. Okay. All right. Go back to our guy. Check out what he had on. Where was he? A baton. Oh, I thought I heard you coming. More cops. 
any guns on you? A hardballer. Okay. So let's maybe check out that. But come on, man. How many of you are there? Holy shit. Let's maybe check out that baton. Is this a long blunt weapon? I want to say so. All right, hey, come here, buddy. Let's check it out. Oh, kind of shit damage. Doesn't even get me skill in. It's official. I hate it. Let's get rid of it. Hey, military guy. Reach is quite good, though, to be honest. Okay. What do you have in here? Let's take those, please. Thank you. Okay, let's get rid of this piece of shit. Baton. Busted crowbar. Okay. Okay, we're here. We are here. Check it out. Clear it out. Start chopping some stuff down. Bring some trees with us back. This is what we want to do here is just gain some, some working room. There we go. There was the one over there. Okay. Goodbye. Turn you off for now. Let's actually rest in the truck for a second. Okay. Let's give this a go. about chopping some trees down supposedly these huge ones give you four wood unless i'm mistaken let's find out four wood let's go okay how much condition does this thing have by the way oh a good amount okay we are going to have to deal with near constant Zombies. In fact, hey, everybody around here, come out. Let me just deal with you now. Got you coming. I think I saw somebody coming over there. Would beep, but I'm not trying to get everybody, everybody to come to me. Nice one hit kill. In pain. 30 bandage. Okay. Let's chop down some more. In fact, let's actually go ahead and rip all the clothing so we can make these into log bundles. Then we're going to put it in the truck and then take it back to the warehouse, I guess, for processing. That way we don't have to try and just be on our toes at all time. There we go. Rip it all. Boom, 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 boom. How much do you have on you that I can rip? Jesus. Okay. Where did those logs go? More logs stack. Okay. Oh yeah, I did install a mod to reduce the weight of wood by half because I was losing my mind when I was working at the West Point base. So, uh, sue me. <laughs> I can't, I can't be bothered to do it all over again. Anyways, let's get back to work here cutting down trees. I'll either time lapse or cut this. We'll see. Okay, you guys, it's official. That's it. We're queasy. 
only a matter of time at this point. Damn. Okay. Shit, man. Okay, so we have one more episode we're going to do after... Good lord, start up. So we have one more episode we're going to do after this. Just showing the, the final moments, the, the preparation for the next batch. Right. So why don't y'all let me know a couple of things. One. Give me some suggestions on traits. I've already gotten some tips in the Discord, which are very helpful, and I'll, I'll link the Discord in the description. Um... Two, what the goal of the next series should be, right? Because we're going to have <clears throat> a new character. It's going to be wide open for us. Do we use everything we've built up here? I think so. I mean, but if y'all think we should just start an entirely new world or just not use the stuff we built here, that's fine. Whatever's clever on that end, just let me know. That's fucking locked. There we go. Um... That sort of thing. And then three, any mods you think I should have? Can I not get out of here? Let's just do this. Parallel parking genius. Okay. First things first, though. Let's get the damn staircase built that started this all. Ugh. Shit. If only. If only, if only. Okay, let's grab these. Come on now. I have nails on me. There's got to be some here. Boom. Get those. And then drop them right here. I should have left the staircase intact. Oh, well. It is what it is, right? Okay. Unstack them all. saw them all and then we're just gonna let's just get this done and we're gonna just build the staircase here I guess I gotta have them on my person two three four five six seven eight whatever okay that's as many as I can have grab two more on me okay I need some nails nails come on come on is that enough? 15... Jesus. Box of nails. There's... There we go. Get it built. Come on. Santos. Not really not. We need to. Yeah, we're going to have to sludge that down real quick. Let's get the second floor accessible where we have the rest of our shit. Oh! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, grab one of those and grab some nails. This has been a bad luck episode. I'm gonna just build that floor out real quick. Then we're gonna call the episode. I'm just depressed at this point. A stupid end to this character. Damn. Okay, so. I don't have enough stuff needed. I can go get the carpenter or the planks down there. Son of a bitch. Okay, so, anyways. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. My name's Perpetual Pandemonium. Thanks for joining me for this. Uh, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think we should do for the next series, right? We've basically got the world wide open for us. It's a tough end to uh, Wesley Morse. That's his name, right? We got it right for once. Yeah, Wesley Morse. Kind of an anticlimactic end, honestly. Getting chomped on in your sleep, that just kind of blows, to be honest. But it is what it is. I didn't think it would happen. I had the door closed and the windows locked. Yeah, we're progressed. Yeah, we're queasy. That's it for us, man. We're done for. Drop these planks so we're not overburdened. There's just... I just don't think there's much of a chance for it to be anything other than death. I mean, I guess there's the potential, right? 
can see this. But, you know, if it is, let me know what y'all think we should be doing. Anyways, my name's Perpetual Pandemonium. Thanks for joining me for another episode. I'll see y'all next time.